back to his seat smiling. He put everything into that to hold for the black. I thought he was going to power that one in, but he played a delicate little one. One. The reason I thought he was going to power it in, John, was but you know if the table was drifting slightly when he played that shot, you know it it wasn't Eight. straightforward at that pace. Yeah, good point. Nine. I say just the three loose reds at the moment, so Mark will have to come to the problem of developing that pack a little bit later in the break. But he's a absolute master of escapism, is 16. Mark Selby. And when he's in sessions where the other players seem to be playing better than him, he can always make a, a decent result out of a bad situation. 70. What the top players do, John Higgins, another master at it. There's a good chance to open up because if he's stunned, it looks as if he's just going to play for the single red. I thought he was going to stun into them because of those two reds, because he, he was bound to finish on one of them and he'd, he'd have opened the reds up. If he leaves it to the last minute, 24. he can stick in the back of the reds. Or if he's coming from the blue, probably would be better. But 25. Going into them this time, is he? See? Oh, he's okay. He's got one to the middle pocket. I thought he was going to stick in the back of them there. Yeah, no, hit that beautifully, didn't he? So much topspin. Just about arced in time. Thirty-three. Fabulous. What a match player this fellow is. Absolutely outstanding. He certainly can mix Fault. it. He can play any type of game. I mean, he's one of the greatest break builders the game's ever seen. He can slow it down. He's got a wonderful tactical game, but he's showing us here. If he gets a chance, 41. He's going to score heavily. Yeah, the best players just sense danger, don't they? Sense an opportunity to turn it all round and find it from somewhere. Can't teach that sort of thing. It's in it's in the player themselves. That will to win. Forty nine. Once again. Pinpoint with the cue ball. 56. Exactly where you'd want it. So good he can even cue through the gap. 57. This has been some session this evening. 57. We've had absolutely everything. And the quality from both players, outstanding. I think the scene was set in the opening frame when he cleared up with 134. 64. He can still get back onto the black here. It's 
just making certain so we want to secure the frame and then we know what we'll be thinking about Yeah. 65. <laughs> I didn't really want to mention it, but the circumstances, the way they are, you think you just want to win the frame, but you're quite right. You will be thinking. That's finished a little awkward. 72. Just needs one more red to secure the frame. Mm, isn't it always the way? Just one more red. And that's the poorest positional shot he's played in this break. Everything else has been exemplary. Right, here we go then. That's the frame safe. Well, he might be on the one to the left middle. He could be okay here. 80. Yeah, always good to stand back and have a look at that angle. Try and get it in your mind's eye. It's just difficult into a blind pocket, particularly when the balls are close together. It's there. <laughs> this crucible crowd are buzzing. There's a lot of them here that would have never seen a maximum break. 88. Made live. He's got that tough red on the cushion. £89. £40,000 bonus for the maximum break. Kyron Wilson's got that at the moment, plus the high break prize, 15000 If it happens again, it will be shared. He's done it on four occasions, Mark Selby. 96. <laughs> 97. Yeah, it's just going to be that red that's on the left-hand side cushion. 105. Now what does he do? He probably try and drop in behind it because no good can they get out if you're not going to leave yourself on the black. He's dropping in behind it. Hundred and thirteen. Could not be any better. Absolutely perfect position. an effort this has been. 120.
122. Well, as I mentioned, he's made four maximum breaks. He's never made one of the crucible. This is unbelievable. Hundred and twenty-five. Got to be perfect. The tension is unbearable. He's got to be perfect on the blue. Hundred and twenty-nine. Hundred and thirty-four. Achieved. Everything in the game, John. Another milestone if he can pop pink and black. Yeah. Cue ball down off the top cushion. It's there. And it's black tennis. The most unbelievable, unbelievable break. Wow, just listen to this crowd. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> On the 40th anniversary of Cliff Thorburn's first, we've now had two maximums in this championship. It's a credit to Cliff, it's a credit to this man, Mark Selby. Boy, can he grind it out, but boy, can he score. The 14th maximum in history in this little theatre. The first ever in the final. The 10th man in snooker history to do it here. And what a bonus for Brendan Moore, the referee. That embrace Sean Murphy and Ken Doherty was worth its weight in gold. Fantastic scenes. Absolutely phenomenal. Listen to the roar. <laughs> Oh, that was just amazing. Astonishing. Well, I remember a few years back, guys, he made the 100th maximum in snooker history, and that was at the UK Championship. <laughs> <laughs> He's milking it now. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Ken, <laughs> give us your thoughts on oh, that moment just, of history. It is magic, absolute. What a magic moment. What a magic championship we've had. And what a magic moment in a final. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. The crowd are on their feet. We're here on our feet. And it's just uh, oh, it's amazing. Well, in 2008, Ali Carter and Ronnie O'Sullivan made a maximum. It was the first time we'd ever had two in Thank the one championship, and now it's been done. Uh, Kyron you. Wilson, I'm really sorry, but Final you'll be sharing the prize team. money this time. It is, of course, worth just one frame. And back to the final itself, there is now only two between these brilliant players. <laughs>